Here's Brody Brazil. So by now, and since you've already clicked on this video, I'm assuming you're well aware of the trip that A's Brass made on Thursday to West Sacramento. Visiting Sutter Health Park, probably touring the facilities, probably meeting with officials up there. I'm not sure who was there, how long this lasted, or how well any of it went. Nobody's going to have those details, but that's not the point of this video. What I do intend to have happen here is take what we do know and apply some instinct and insight to it to gain a deeper understanding of the bigger picture. I'm not here to break the news. I'm here to try and take this layer by layer. And on that note, let's actually begin with this. Crazy enough, the A's in our capital city of the state. Was this the first time that the A's publicly were doing any official business in California in like the last 12 months? I mean, seriously, I'm trying to think about it. Everything that they've been working on has been between Carson City with the Nevada legislative session, that's their state capital, or down in southern Nevada with Clark County or Las Vegas. Everything they've been working on has been over there. And so it's kind of weird to see them trying to move forward or at least exploring what could be their temporary home for 2025, 2026, or 2027 here in the state of California. So under that context, let's begin with the photos and media that everybody saw today and coverage from CBS Sacramento is what I'm seeing was first here. Andrew Hobner was the reporter on scene. It's right there on the scoreboard. And it's crazy because the average person might walk by and not know who John, Ross, Serena, Dave, and Sandy are, but somebody quickly put it together. And obviously the CBS Sacramento camera crew caught them all getting back into that private car and leaving the facility. On one hand, if you wanted to make this really low key, you probably wouldn't have put it up on the scoreboard like that for anybody walking by to just see. But on the other hand, who was smart enough to actually put this together and either alert the media or have them understand it or have them show up on scene like this to document it? Like that part is still, I mean, me, I'm, you know, 90 minutes away. That still is crazy to me from afar. But also this, let's begin with who the A's in part might have been meeting with. Who owns the Rivercats? Who owns Sutter Health Park? It's King's owner, Vivek Ranadive. It's his group that owns the Rivercats and Sutter Health Park Stadium Group. Vivek, by the way, yeah, I did get the chance to meet him. I think we've met a couple times. That's from years ago. That's before Golden One Center was even finished. He was actually part owner of the Golden State Warriors and had to sell out of that to buy into the Sacramento Kings. But it's that ownership group which is largely seen as saving basketball in Sacramento. You may recall the prior owners, the Maloof brothers, they were threatening relocation to Seattle and or Anaheim and or Virginia Beach for so many years, but a little more than a decade ago, yeah, Renadive and his group kind of seen as saviors for basketball in Sacramento. So then they went ahead and bought the minor league team and the minor league stadium in late 2022 for a reported $90 million sale. Again, I don't think anybody thinks differently or bad about this. Here's somebody who has committed themselves to Sacramento sports and obviously improving their facilities and fan experience. And hey, I mean, look at the Kings right now. Definitely doing things the right way. So that's kind of who's on at least some of the other side of, of, of who the A's were talking to in their visit to Sacramento. Here are some instant takes, right? This is the surface level stuff. We'll go deeper, then we'll go even one step deeper than that. Let's start at the very beginning here. All of this and seeing the A's up there, it confirms expectations of what their top options are for these temporary seasons. I also have another video coming out to kind of tell you these temporary seasons are going to be rough. And I'm not just talking about fan attendance or facilities. I'm talking about how the money might be different and tight for these next couple of years. If you're really going to play in a minor league stadium while trying to fund construction of a new, of a brand new $1.5 billion facility in Las Vegas, like those, those two things don't really synergize or match up. But I digress. You can check out that video in another day or two. This obviously confirms all of the educated speculation that all of us have been doing about the possibility of temporary years in Sacramento. They were there checking it out. They're probably going to drive through Reno, 
Give that a quick glance, even though I don't know that that's logistically possible. I definitely think they're going to fly to Salt Lake City, check out Smith's Ballpark, soon to be vacant for a couple years. Nice facility, great view of the mountains off in center field. And yeah, up in Salt Lake City, there's already a group trying to bring permanent Major League Baseball to where they're at. So you'd have to think they're itching to get even a temporary chance to show off what they can do for baseball in Utah. So yeah, it confirms what the A's options are and where they're starting with this process. But this also, like I said earlier, wasn't well hidden. I mean, it it wasn't hidden. If I'm showing up somewhere and I don't want anybody to know about it, I'd probably say, could you, could you take my name off the scoreboard real fast? Could we just keep that, you know? It, it wasn't, I mean, it, it wasn't hidden at all. It definitely wasn't well hidden. But there you go. Everybody knows about it. And, and again, nobody's surprised about it. But the fact that we all caught when and how it happened, it's just, it's just amazing to me. We obviously know who was attending because of that. I mean, the list was right there on the scoreboard screen. And there may have been some extras and others. But yeah, basically that handful gives you a pretty good idea that it was mostly the business and finance portion of the A's operation. There wasn't any baseball type people up there, any real facilities type people up there. This was kind of a a money and executive type visit more than anything else. I'll also say this about an in-person meeting. I mean, it could have been a phone call. It could have been a Zoom group chat. It could have been virtual. Maybe all of that has already happened. So for me, anytime I think about an in-person meeting for a situation like this, it usually tells me it's a first meeting or it's one of the final meetings, if that makes sense. You don't make the drive and bring four, five, six people up there for some pedestrian stuff in the middle of a negotiation or, or an agreement. This is usually a first visit or a final visit if it's in person. Anything else, all the small details and inner workings between, you'd have to assume that can be done electronically and not in person. Okay, that's the primary level. Let's take it to the next level. The future of pro sports in Sacramento. Obviously, the Kings stayed there, are going to be there. But in terms of baseball fans, yeah, you've got some A's fans. You've got a lot of Giants fans in the 9162, but you still have, I know this for a fact, some bitter Oakland fans in Sacramento. This is not like the A's going to Salt Lake City where you're completely disconnected from the Bay Area. Sacramento is not the Bay Area. But Sacramento is Northern California. The Bay Area is Northern California. Oakland is part of Northern California. So there are enough people in Sacramento to still not have a really good taste in their mouth about what's happening with the A's and potentially relocate, relocating out of Oakland. So that has to be established from the onset. And Kings fans specifically still take relocation personally. It was that close to happening to them. I kid you not, the former ownership of the Sacramento Kings had a sale agreement signed, sealed, and everything but delivered to move the Kings basketball team up to Seattle. Now, the NBA voted it down. Obviously, baseball didn't do that with the A's, but Kings fans still have that. Sacramento sports fans still have that in the back of their mind. And as they see the A's come in there for temporary baseball so they can do that same process to Oakland, it's got to connect with, connect with enough people on enough levels to be a little bit significant here. But let's be honest, there's also some up in Sacramento that have zero connection, that have zero care about where the A's have been, and maybe some of them are just flat-out Giants fans, and all of this means nothing except for the fact that Major League Baseball might be coming to West Sacramento for a couple years a ballpark they already love, they're familiar with, it's been around for almost 25 years, and now Major League Baseball is going to be there. You get to see Shohei Otani play there a handful of times over the next few years. So they have zero take on the A's, but they'll just kind of show up because, well, it's interesting. The other thing I want to point out here is, are these negotiations for three full or three half seasons? I don't know the amount of games. Who knows the actual usage being planned for Sutter Health Park. But you'd have to think that if they're going to put in all the work to upgrade the park or get it to major league standards, 
they're probably not going to want to do that and not get their full money's worth in playing all 81 home games per year up there. Uh, who knows, honestly, how that part, sh part shakes out, but certainly that's part of what's being discussed right now. Okay, let's go even a level deeper than that. This is an A's franchise that blocked a minor league team, like a pioneer league team, in the Oakland Ballers from playing one game at Major League Baseball's Oakland Coliseum. They don't own it, but you know what I'm saying. It's a Major League Baseball facility. So the A's blocked a minor league team from playing in a Major League facility. And now it's the A's of Major League Baseball seeking permission to a certain degree of urgency to play three full years at a minor league stadium. And whether it's Sacramento or Salt Lake City, Summerlin, I guess, in the mix, Reno to some degree. I mean, how, how long is this list? Probably going to end up largely at a minor league facility for at least three full seasons. That's, that's a crazy conundrum right there. There's also so much uncertainty here at this deep level about future partnerships and sponsorships that the A's have with businesses and companies and entities and, you know, broadcast partners. Again, I'll say this once, I'll say it a million times, I'm not going deep into the weeds on that part, but it does exist that their partners and their streams of revenue might be just a little bit different in Sacramento than they have been with current agreements in Oakland. Like, they are changing the direction here, and some of that probably is going to come with a price. The deepest thing of all here is that if we're really getting to a point where temporary homes are being thoroughly discussed and not secured yet. I don't think anything was signed today. I don't know. But this all really sets in that what you're about to witness at the Oakland Coliseum at this point and at this level, it's probably going to be the final season of baseball, at least at that facility. Who knows really what's secured down the line or where it goes from here, but it does seem like if the A's are really pressing forward on Sacramento, maybe Reno, definitely Salt Lake City, that all of this very much increases the odds that we're about to witness the final season of A's baseball at the Coliseum in 2024. Okay, let's switch gears. I gave you those different layers and levels. Now let's kind of talk to Sacramentans here, or at least analyze where they're at what they've been through, and how this kind of impacts them. Because a lot of them are just saying, well, wait, the A's are doing what? I don't know that they're all very much aware of what's been happening here or where things are at right now or where things are planned to go. I've got a feeling that there are so many fans and potential A's customers in Sacramento that just haven't been paying attention to any of this. And some of them, why would they? Baseball's not in their backyard. Maybe they don't have one team or the other, or maybe they're just not into this coverage because it doesn't impact them very much. But they haven't been paying attention until now. And if things get pursued in Sacramento, the story's only going to get that much bigger. It's already kind of caught on within the last 72 hours. You're hearing a lot more talk and discussion about, wait, what's been happening here? What does this mean for Sacramento? And let's go on that note to talk about this. Sacramento, in my opinion, does deserve consideration for a Major League Baseball expansion team. I think the market has been big enough. The fan support of the Kings has been tremendous enough. They're not that far away from the Bay Area, and there's a lot of surrounding metropolitan regions. It's not just Sacramento, but Stockton's there, Modesto's there. My point being that Sacramento can handle a Major League Baseball team. But I want to point this out. Anybody in Sacramento thinking that this is some tryout for Major League expansion? It is definitely not that until Major League Baseball explicitly says so. I want to protect Sacramento from the thought that, oh, well, this is a tryout. And if we do well and we pack the place and show up, show up and show out, that baseball will see that and say, hey, in, in 2028, are you guys interested in our next wave of expansion? I'm not saying it's impossible, but 
but I'm definitely not saying that's a guarantee or that's even a main consideration here. Baseball is going to expand by two franchises, probably after the A's and Rays stuff gets settled somehow, somewhere. Nashville, from what I can understand, and being at the winter meetings in Nashville a month or two ago, that one seems pretty set. So the other one's probably going to happen out west. But again, if you're Sacramento, think about Salt Lake City. They already have a group out there that's trying to build a new Major League Stadium out there before the team even arrives. They're trying to entice Major League Baseball in a very real way. I'm not saying Salt Lake City's better than Sacramento at all. I'm just saying, hey, Sacramento, if you think this is your tryout, there's already a city and, and a team out there that's working out, that's doing training camp, so to speak, that's doing spring training for Major League Baseball to get their team. And baseball has taken note of that. And maybe the A's, as part of their visit to Sacramento, maybe this was just a real initial visit to say, what can you do for us? Because they're going to go to Salt Lake City and ask them, what can you do for us? Because here's what Sacramento said. Maybe it's already a bidding war for the temporary seasons of the Oakland A's. Anyway, I'm not here to doubt Sacramento at all. Like, that's not the point of it. I'm saying they deserve it. I'm saying until baseball explicitly tells you that if you do well with this, it's a tryout for you, don't ever assume that that's part of this deal. And so, yeah, no surprise, right? The A's are touring Sacramento. I've literally had videos on this topic on this channel for five or six months now. I think June, July, and August, we were talking about Salt Lake City, Reno, Summerlin, and Sacramento. And here's a trip to Sacramento. So it's eventually happening. I would also say that this is still kind of late in the game to be figuring this out. And if these negotiations take any severe length of time, uh, this also isn't good for the 2028 Las Vegas timeline. Speaking of timelines, you made it here to the end of this video. You know I appreciate that. Thumbs up down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe so I can definitely see you back here next time. <laughs>